Hi guys. This video is going to be an explanation video for the striker fired mechanism of pistols and its training procedures. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because my mother actually got her first gun. She bought a Taurus G3C. Uh, she bought it in response to the rising uh, hate crimes against Asians. And I said, that's great. You know, make sure you train with it. Make sure you understand the trigger pull, the trigger reset, and everything's good, you know. And then she tells me she has no idea how it works. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, that's not acceptable. Um, first of all, I'm happy that every race and every gender takes their self-defense in their own hands. That's the way it should be, okay, and th yeah, that's great, right? But it's not acceptable if you don't know how it works. And yes, it's boring and it's not fun, but you still have to learn how it works. So, of course, I said, all right, give me some time. Let me write a script. Let me figure this out. You know, let me try to make it as understandable as I hope that I can. So, to begin with, um, the gun that she chose was a Taurus G3C. Um, that's a great choice. It's a striker fired. Striker fired guns are very um, low learning curve, um, you know, low maintenance, very easy to create proficiency and mastery uh, in a short amount of time. It's a good, it's a good choice, you know. Now, granted, uh, hers has a manual safety. I'm not a fan of those. Um, personally, if you're going to get a manual safety, just get a 1911. You'll get a better trigger that way. I only have uh, two striker fired guns in my whole armory. Um, it's just a Glock 19 Gen 5 and a Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0. I would also like to say that um, if you're new and you're going to take your protection in your own hands, please do not just go with the price that the gun shop offers you. They almost always are going to try to screw you over. Um, basically, the guy sold my mother's gun at $400. Taurus G3C. I went to Gun Broker. Gun Broker is known for ripping people off and everything's always overpriced. And they offered a new Taurus G3C $350 with a scope. Okay, it got something for free. Okay, my mom's gun was used and they charged her $400. Okay, that's not cool. That's not cool, but that's just the reality situation. Please seek a, a counsel with a gun owner. You can ask me. I bet my family honor. I, I know I can beat their price. All right. Don't ever take their price, whatever they offer. OK, um, I have never seen a fair price when the gun shop owner offers it. I've never seen a fair price in my life. The first thing we have to talk about is um, what happens when a round goes off. Right. So these are this is a snap cap. OK, it's a fake bullet, whatever you want to call it. And what we have to understand about the round, right, is what happens when the round goes off okay there's a primer here for center fire ammunition i know there's rim fire too but my mother's gun is nine millimeters so we're going to talk about center fire there's a primer back here okay and what that primer does is that it causes an ignition it, it, it causes a mini explosion and it's going to light up the gunpowder that's in the case and that's going to cause the projectile to leave to leave the barrel it's you know to shoot basically now this reaction occurs when the primer is struck, uh, typically with what we call a firing pin. There's a pin either on the hammer of the gun, if it has a hammer. In the case of the striker fire, it's just the striker channel. The firing pin on a revolver, this is a cold official police. The firing pin is right there. Okay. Now, not every revolver is like this. Some are going to have the firing pin in the frame. And there's a transfer bar. And when you and this hammer is flat, so the hammer, when it's released, just hits the transfer bar and it hits the firing pin, which ignites the round. In regards to striker fire, um, there's a separate channel within the slide, and it's in its own little special little place, and it just sits there. When the slide is retracted, the trigger is or the firing pin is set. When you pull the trigger, the tri firing pin is released. But remember, what's happening when the uh, explosion happens? It pushes the slide back. Now, the mechanism for a striker fired pistol is very simple. Okay, when the slide is retracted, when the slide is retracted and goes back to battery, it does three things. It's going to eject an empty case if there's one there, it's going to reset the striker, and it's going to put in a new round if it's available. 
okay remember what's happening when the uh, round when the round goes off right that mini explosion is going to push the slide that means the slide is going to do those three things simultaneously right so for example you'll see that the mmp is a dead trigger, trigger dead trigger okay it's dead because the slide needs to be retracted right so just to show you an example of what i'm talking about i'm going to put two snap caps here in the magazine of mnp 2.0 and remember right when you're setting the gun up okay so it's just pretend that it was a real so it's a real round right so you go to the range right you take your shot and then what's going to happen after you take your shot remember the, the explosion when the round goes off is going to send the slide back now the trigger's dead right after the first shot but the explosion sends the slide back and it's going to do three things it's going to eject the empty case right now it's going to reset the striker and it's going to put in a new round which i had a second snap cap in there so it worked right so again you just pull the trigger again the trigger is dead again but the explosion makes those three actions occur empty case comes out uh trigger is uh striker is reset and a new round goes in if it's available but as you can see two and three didn't happen because there is no round available okay now i think the striker does reset though yeah it does so the third one doesn't occur when the gun is empty now then the next thing to know we're going to do a knowledge check is how do we know if the gun is safe right uh, you come from a long day, you have your gun there, you had to do something else, you came back, like, oh, is, did I make the gun safe? I, I don't remember, right? How do you check to make sure? Knowing everything that we already know. So, for example, if there were rounds in the gun and you wanted to check to make safe, right? Let's say that you did this. You go, okay, well, in a self-defense situation, there's going to be a round in the chamber. So, I need to take it out. Hold on, I just put one in there. Okay, it's gone. Now I just take out the magazine and I'm good, right? Except that you're not. There's actually a round in the magazine, okay? Okay. Why? Well, remember, when the slide retracts, it does three actions, right? It's going to take out an empty case, it's going to reset the striker, and it's going to put in a new round if it's available. They happen simultaneously, okay? You're not going to be able to catch the, these three and, and separate them. It's going to happen too quickly right so that was the mistake the mistake was that when you pulled the slide back it took another round if it was available now granted if there wasn't a round available it would just look like this okay but still right you should know that the magazine comes out first and then you retract the slide and you check visually to make sure right and then you see the gun's empty okay now i some people might not like that i like to re, uh, release the striker I don't like to let the, the striker uh, stay there. Um, that's just something that I'm used to. But anytime you check to make sure the gun is safe, remember, it's always magazine comes out first and then you retract the slide, okay? If you retract the slide and there's still a magazine in there, if there's a round in there, it's gonna just chamber the new one. Unfortunately, that is responsible for a lot of negligent discharges. So please make sure to study that thoroughly and to practice it thoroughly with snap caps don't, don't don't practice this with real rounds okay use fake bullets to understand this so you understand thoroughly how this works now we go to training protocol so as i said the uh, striker fired has a low learning curve it's it's great for everybody you know and they're very easy to create proficiency and mastery when it comes to the trigger um i think most striker fires are probably going to be about 4.5 pounds it's not really that heavy which is nice and I would also work on a sight picture as well. Now, I think the Taurus G3C, uh, mom, you might have uh, two different kinds of sights, either the three dots or just pure um, blacked out sights. Basically, you just line them up. You line them up, make sure that they're straight, and you aim for a center of mass on the target, okay? As for the trigger itself, I would say you guys should do 10 pulls, 10 trigger pulls. Okay, I think that's how much you should do per day. Okay, it doesn't help to do 20 one day and then five the next day and then three the next day. That's not helpful. Okay, make it consistent. 10 every day. Okay, now with the striker, um, uh, as far as I can tell, you don't need a snap cap in there. I always keep snap caps in my double action pistols and revolvers, but I don't think you need one here. You just have to reset the, re-rack the slide every time, right? 
So you're gonna work on your trigger pull, and then you gotta do it again. Okay? Because it's dead. Remember, it's dead. It's dead unless you pull the slide back. So you just practice with a good sight picture, right? It's a slow, uh, slow, steady squeeze. And your hands, your strong. I'm left-handed. Uh, your strong hand is going to, it's gonna hold most of the gun. Then your weak hand is gonna come over and it's gonna wrap around these fingers. And then your your thumb, thumbs are gonna face forward like this. Okay, that's the position. And your strong hand is gonna push more than your weak hand is gonna pull back. So there's kind of this constant tension, and your strong hand is pushing a little bit more than your pulling hand. Okay. So I would do 10 of those, uh, good trigger pulls, very steady control, and a good side picture. Make sure you're aiming very well, okay? Now last, we have to talk about trigger reset. So trigger reset, this is a little bit more advanced, kind of intermediate skill, um, but what's happening is after you pull the trigger, right? After you pull your, your, your trigger, you're going to hold it. And then you're going to reset the slide. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to let go slowly. Because there's a point where the trigger resets. And from that point when you pull, the gun will go off. Right? So it's a little bit intermediate training. But I would do 10 of these too. Right there. Okay? It's, a, it's, it's the sound that... It's, it's the sound like when the trigger is resetting. There. Okay? I would do 10 of those. Right? Um... It's a little advanced, I know, but, um, you know, once you get used to the trigger pull weight, uh, probably four to five pounds, you know, you might as well just keep increasing your skill. Um, so that's something that you can work on. I would do 10 of those as well. 10 per day. Okay. Um, I think that would be um, enough. That would be enough training protocol, familiarity, you know, and then, of course, supplementary knowledge. Don't just stop here. Watch other videos more people learn as much as you can you know you can never have too much information you may have to filter some stuff out that's cool but you can never have too much information right just take what's useful to you and get rid of what isn't so i know that was a very uh bare bones explanation just to kind of get you know most of the key main points out there for anybody that is looking at striker fire they're kind of wondering what it is how does it work is it appropriate for you I think it's appropriate for new people. It's again, it's very easy to get proficiency and mastery in a short amount of time. But of course, with something like this, I probably missed something. Uh, you know, I, I just went through my head. I, I don't know. I forgot something. If it is, or if you have any questions or concerns, of course, you can comment or message on Instagram. Other than that, you guys take care, and I'll see you later. Bye.